Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you in our quick tip how to adjust the opacity of Lightroom presets. Lightroom does not have an opacity adjuster because there are no layers in Lightroom. However, if you combine it using Photoshop CS4 or 5, you can actually get the same effect. What you're going to do is start by picking your photo, and if you're in Lightroom 3 and above, you're going to go to Lens Corrections on the right-hand side and click Enable Profile Corrections. In Lightroom 2, you will not need to do this step. The next thing you're going to do is make a virtual copy. To do this, just right-click on the picture and click on Create Virtual Copy. On your virtual copy, go ahead and run whatever presets you would like. So I'm going to come in here and we're going to do kind of a hazy look with tickled pink. I'd like to apply a little bit of contrast as well, so I'm going to stack another preset and I'm going to use Booster Shot Medium. And now I'm done with my editing, but I might want to reduce the opacity. The problem is Lightroom doesn't have that feature. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select by shift clicking both images. What you're going to do next is go under the photo menu. You're going to drop down to Edit In, and you're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says Open as Layers in Photoshop. When you click this, it's going to give you this message, and just go ahead and click Open Anyway. It's going to open the photos into Photoshop. It'll take just a minute, and once they're in there, you will see you have your original and your edited. Now, in this situation, however I selected those, it came in where the unedited is on top. So I'm just going to drag that in my layers palette to the bottom so my edited version is at the top and my unedited is at the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is on the top layer I'm going to just change the opacity. And you'll see it slowly lets in some of the original so that I'm adjusting the opacity of the layer. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jody Friedman again from mcpactions.com. Please come check out our mini quick clicks and quick clicks collection. Thank you.